definitely my alter ego talking. I call her Tatiana. <laughs> No, no, seriously. Like I literally have an alter ego that I call Tatiana. I had to snap into like a mentality of not being so vulnerable and so honest and just being like, okay, there's a whole other side of my personality that the entire world has no idea about. That's Tatiana for sure. I've never done a, a beat like this before. So I was like, this this could be straight trash if we mess this up or it could be really good. So we were kind of just like playing around and rapping out like whatever we wanted to say. There wasn't really any boundaries. And then we just like kind of started painting this story of like a guy coming up to you at a bar and hitting on you. He said, are you serious? I try, but I can't figure out. I've been next to you all night. Still don't know what you're about. You keep ta 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 talking Not much coming out your mouth. Can't you tell that I want you? I say, yeah. I'm a very visual writer. So everything I write, I need to like connect a color to it or a picture or an image. I don't know why I was just envisioning me on like this like, I don't even know what they're called, like one of those couches like sitting on top of it and a guy like coming next to me and sitting right next to me. I and mean, just like him talking my ear off. And I like had this like very specific image in my head. And I'm so happy that we ended up making it so visual because I feel like that's what makes the song so relatable because I feel like everyone's like gone through that exact scenario. I would want myself, baby please believe me. I'll put you through hell, just to know me, yeah, yeah. So sure of yourself, baby, don't get greedy. That shit won't end well. Mm -hmm. We wrote this chorus like four times. There's so many different versions, and the original lyric was, I keep to myself which would have been way lamer, crazy. Like, say, I keep to myself. Like, just sounds like this little jingle that like, now it sounds like I feel like this like hard pop song. And before it was so like meek. I see you eyeing me down, but you'll never know much past my name or how I'm running this room around that I'm still half your age. Yeah, you la 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 looking at me like I'm some sweet escape. Obvious that you want me, but I said. When I hear the second verse in particular, I'm just like, oh, this sounds like the most badass girl ever. And so when I listened to it, when I sang it, it like took me into that space of that character whenever I'm like on stage. And I feel like that's the coolest part. He said, I'm just curious. Is this for real or just an act? Can't tell if you love or hate me. Never met someone like that. Drive me so, so, so crazy. Did you know you got that effect? I said, let me check, yeah. The biggest thing was just continuing the conversation and then putting like a little like exclamation point at the end being like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's like the, the most fun part, like on tour, I'll always be like, let me check. And the whole crowd will be like, yeah. <laughs> I just think it's a really uh, empowering and cool moment. I think it perfectly captures the bridge. In the final last chorus, it's like, I, I would want on myself. That's my favorite part of the whole song. I feel like that's the most like Tate part of the song that was very fun to wrap it up with. <laughs>